So Small Land got its first major update today. What I want to do is quickly take a look at the trailer and then take a look at the patch notes and see if Small Land's worth coming back to right now. So let's start off with the trailer here. And first off, we're going to see that they have added a bird here, and the bird is actually an enemy. So that's pretty interesting. You're going to be fighting a, a larger creature here, the big the big blue bird. I think it's called the blue tit. Introducing the our latest content updates. So we're going to be going inside of a... Looks like a playground. So we got a playground set there. Look at that. We got a sandbox. That looks kind of familiar. Interesting, interesting. Not showing any creatures in there yet. Defeat and tame a fearsome new enemy. So we got ourselves this bluebird. Oh, and then you can actually use it as a flying mount. That's pretty cool. There are already flying mounts in the game, but that new flying mount will be cool. Harvest stink bug land. So stink bug... Probably going to look familiar to some of you if you played another similar survival game. Craft a toxic new weapon. So I wonder if that's a grenade or not. Now with character creature progression. So the characters have different skills. We've got strength, dexterity, constitution, endurance. You get an attribute point. So I guess you get these while leveling up. To help you survive longer. Okay. I think it also said creatures. Your mounts get upgraded. So you're no longer the only small folk. Forbidden Monuments update is out now. Let me pause this real quick, see what this says. So we got the Forbidden, Forbidden Monuments map area. That's a new part of the map. That's going to be the playground here. We got the blue tit enemy. That's going to be the blur bird that you can fight. So it's a boss. And you can also tame it. Stink bug enemy. Stink bug bomb throwable weapon. So we got a stink grenade here. Character leveling. Creature leveling. Icarus armor set. Ethereum hammer. Ethereum arrows. Ethereum great axe. New NPC quests. And Ethereum alcas. I guess that's going to be the, uh, the NPCs they showed there. Pretty decent for our first update. Let's take a look at the actual patch notes here. So the new biome is going to be the park they showed there. The new NPC is going to be Malk, the Ornithomancer. Okay. Creatures. So this is adding a boss. I guess the... I mean, that bird has to be a boss, right? The Stink Bug. And then an Ethereum Scout, an Ethereum Elite. Okay, so it's going to be adding three, cre or three regular creatures, and then it looks like a boss. Some creatures now come with color variants. Player scaling. Levels 1 to 100 experience with will come with gathering resources, combat, and key narrative completion. Higher tier enemies and resources will grant more experience. Folks will have four stats, strength, constitution, dexterity, and endurance. You will now be able to level an attribute past your current level. Interesting thing will be to see, is this on top of the current skills that were in the game or like in terms of like how fast you can move in your stamina and stuff like that? Or is this going to be basically you have to level up to get back to where you are? Creature levels. Creatures will now spawn into the world at a natural level. If tamed, creatures can experience can gain experience by following their master and level up 10 times. If you find a level 53 creature, you can level it up to level 63 maximum. Okay, so I guess that's kind of, sounds like arc mechanics there where you're taming a creature and then leveling it up. Players can also increase the stats of their creature, strength, constitution, dexterity, and endurance. Creatures will have varying stats upon spawning in the world. For example, one ladybug may have more health, whereas another will have higher dexterity and move faster. Pretty interesting there. Icarus set for armor. The Icarus wings will, with the unique ability to air dash. So you'll be able to fly. There's already a set in the game that lets you fly as well. New equipment slot. Wings. Small folk can now put wings on any armor. Uh, that means basically any armor can fly. That's awesome. That's going to give you more mobility. Got the new weapons here. Ethereum hammer and great axe. I guess that's obviously going to come from those Ethereum creatures. We got the stink bug. Stink bomb, which is going to come from the stink bug and the Icarus arrow. New building parts, children and building blocks. Okay, so you got some nice little box there. Chest pieces, interesting. Half stairs, one-third height walls for all tiers, one-third height curve walls, one-quarter size floor pieces. Interesting. So more building pieces for those you like to build. New resources, blue tit eggs, stink gland, reishi mushroom, mushroom leather, and feather. Doesn't say. I wonder if that's going to mean there's going to be more recipes to cook because normally these are associated with the recipes. Obviously, some of these are probably associated with the, uh, well, like, I mean, the stink land's probably going to be associated with the stink bomb. And maybe the feather, maybe these will, maybe they're built into some of the armor as well. I mean, mushroom leather's probably going to be for armor. Tame updates. All mounted creatures can now jump. All mounted creatures can now attack. Interesting. Grasshopper's jump is now charged. Ladybug now drops a gravestone on death. Ladybug continues to act as storage when told to leave the party. Quality of life animation. Some weapons have a faster attack animations. Some new jumping animation, new running animation. Poison antidote potions. 
Animation is faster. There's now warming when you go out of bounds. Wait, there's now warning when you go out of bounds and are about to be snatched by the eagle. Okay. No issues. We are currently aware of some words and phrases not localized. We deeply apologize for this and hope to have it fixed pretty soon. So they did make a post a few days ago about the leveling process. So let's quickly take a look at that real quick. Creatures are getting stronger. We already know this. So basically, how's the leveling going to work? Strength's going to determine how much damage you deal. Dexterity is going to determine movement speed. Constitution increases base health. Endurance increases base stamina. Character characters have a level cap of 100. You will not need to start a new character, so you don't have to start a new character to take advantage of all this. All the existing characters will be designated level 1 when the Forbidden Monuments update goes live. More experienced players with more powerful gear will not, and armor will naturally level up faster, so we anticipate all characters will quickly reach the level they would have been the leveling, had the leveling system been in place when they were first created. These new levels and attributes aren't just for you. You can level up your tame creatures to level 10 and increase all stats. Increase our stats. Creatures will spawn in the wild at different levels. We already know this, so... Oh, that's pretty cool. When you look at the bugs, you can actually see their stats here. So you can kind of determine which one you might want to tame for depending on the stats they have here. This definitely adds some depth to the game. It's kind of going along the lines of like what Valheim has with the skills. So, so this will definitely incentivize you to gain those attribute points so you can level up your character and get back up to where you need to be. So definitely looks like some good changes for the game. So this is the first major update. I pretty I think the game came out in April, I believe it was. So it's been about three, four months. So first major update for it, does it have enough content to warrant me coming back to the game? Probably not right now. After I played at er like when the early access release, I didn't even finish all the content. I probably got, I think, about half to three quarters of the way through the content. And I kind of decided that the best experience at that time would basically be to just wait until the game is finished. I was going to be interested in coming back and just seeing what they add for major updates. This does look interesting. I mean, they're adding a couple of new bugs. But at this point, if you've already done everything and you're just continuing an existing save, and I don't, I mean, there is the leveling to one to 100, so you're gonna have to do that. Not sure how long that's gonna take, but seeing the new stuff here, I mean, this there's not really that much new stuff. You'll probably be able to do everything pretty quickly. So I guess if you're really into the game, they added some new building pieces and stuff like that. If you like building and then of course, leveling your characters up, I'm not sure if you'll be able to just jump into everything and be able to be a level one character. So you might actually have to level up before you go do the new stuff. You might have to level up before you go do some of the old stuff. We'll have to see how that works out. But for me right now, I think I'm going to probably wait at least for another major update, maybe a couple more after that. I might probably, I might actually wait for the game to be finished because like I've said in the past, for me, early access survival games, they're fun. It's fun to jump in and do stuff. But if you just play every time there's a major update and just see everything, then by the time the game is finished, you've seen almost everything the game has to offer. So I'll probably end up just taking a wait and see approach here and see how it's going. Let me know in the comments down below if you're playing small land, are you enjoying it? Is this update going to bring you, uh, keep you playing the game or bring you back to the game? Or if you're interested in playing and haven't played it at this point. So anyway, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this.